Well, hello there and welcome to Pedro Plays and this is the second episode of our Banished uh, series. This is the Adam and Eve story and if you've not uh, seen the first episode um, in you, or if you have seen the first episode, sorry, what you may remember is that we currently only have three citizens and that is Adam and Eve and their daughter and it's not really looking too good uh, for our population it has to be said uh, both Adam and Eve or Mattia and Lisbeth as they're called in this game um, are getting on a little bit Mattia is 54 and um, his wife Lisbeth is 48 so they are getting on a little bit um, looking at um, their daughter again she is 33 so also um, you know she needs to find a partner now uh, and start sort of reproducing now I have read in the game that um, in order to reproduce your sits and stop reproducing at about around the age of 40 which leaves us with a problem in that these two are not going to reproduce and whilst Gain is 33 and still able to reproduce obviously the other guy um, is not so it does leave us with a little bit of a problem and it does mean that we are uh, in order to survive um, not only this episode <laughs> but this series uh, we are going to need to build a town hall um, and a trading post and a marketplace uh, just to um, try and survive and bring in some nomads that are going to help boost the population um, so we're going to set this up right right away now before we get building the town hall one of the things that is um, quite uh, one of the things that is needed to build a town hall is um, uh, we need to get some lumber uh, so basically we need to go to uh, is it that one? Oh, this one over here lumber construction uh, we need to build a lumber yard uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to turn our logs into uh, into lumber and also turn them into firewood as well if we need if need be um, so I'm going to get those uh, one of those guys going and uh, turning that into that lumber yard uh, into reality so that they can start um, chopping some lumber um, now what we're going to do is we're going to build our town hall over here uh, and yeah which was sort of the original place that I had had in mind so I built this bridge with a very view of having a town hall over here and sort of expanding out um, in this part here so I have no idea if that's going to happen we do need to see if we can get some nomads in and boost the population um, otherwise it could end up um, a very short series and um, yeah that would be it unfortunately for our, for our civilization and Pedropolis um, so to speed things up here a little bit let's get them building this um, lumber yard quite quickly and get them some lumber so we can build our town hall so the lumber yard has been built they're busy over here chopping away uh, making lumber uh, in preparation for our town hall the guys are also over here uh, our other two citizens are over here clearing the path for the town hall I've also asked them to remove the resources in this area um, which is going to help us because at the moment obviously sole focus is trying to get these buildings built so at the moment we haven't got people working in the forestry um, or, and we obviously don't have a quarry or a mine or anything like that so hopefully just removing some of these resources here are going to give us uh, the items that we require um, to be able to um, uh, build uh, the town hall uh, trading post and the market now one of the good things is we do have a good source of food over here you can see 1215 um, stored food which is going to be good we're, we're going to need to maintain that particularly if we do get some nomads in um, obviously they're going to want to eat and they're going to start using up that food resource quite quickly now we can put them to work um, and that will be the plan to get them sort of working in a fishing pool and maybe sort of hunting as quick as we can okay so the town hall is built and isn't she a beaut um, we are hoping that she is going to bring in uh, some nomads um, one of the things that we also have now is uh, I'm asking actually for a stockpile to be built here um, just so that as you can see here at the minute as they're removing items from here they're having to trade all the way over to this stockpile um, and then once they put the items over there they're then bring them all the way back uh, to then use them on the buildings over here so I'm hoping that um, we can get this stockpile built uh, so it just shortens the distance it's going to help us build these these buildings a little bit faster so 
be timed is very, very critical now. It's an update on ages, Adam and Eve, 66 and 60 respectively, um, and gain is 45, uh, so we really need to start um, yeah, getting in these nomads as, as soon as we can really. So no request for nomads at the moment, it can take a little while, um, and I know that a trading post um, and the market are also buying in those. Um, so we have these, uh, the footprints for these have been laid um, and we are hoping that they get this area cleared and start production uh, on building these buildings as soon as possible. Can we do it? The time is ticking. Um, it's going to be tense right up until the very end, but we will try our best. Uh, for the sake of Pedropolis and indeed the sake of this YouTube series. So we knew it was going to happen. We have lost our first citizen. Um, and I'm afraid to say it's Eve that has died. Uh, leaving just Adam. And Adam's the oldest one of them as well. Um, left. So uh, Adam's hanging on strong at 69. And obviously we've got his daughter here. She's still um, doing well at the age of 47. Um, but yeah, we really need to get this building built as soon as we can and uh, we're going to start praying for some moments pretty soon uh, to come into this place. Um, it's going to be tight, I said it at the start, it's going to be tight. Okay, so the marketplace has now been built and uh, we're still waiting on those nomads but the good news is, is that uh, our two citizens are holding up quite nicely still. Um, they are still doing okay. Um, Adam is 76 now. Um, and uh, gains 55 so they are uh, getting a lot older um, but they are holding out just all right at the minute production is well underway for the trading post uh, currently collecting stone for that um, as soon as we've got that stone I may have to send them both into um, into getting some food for us as the food reserves are getting a little bit lower now um, still hoping still praying for those nomads uh, no sign of them just yet it's agonizing, it's agonizing. So our trading post is now built and uh, that is it. We have our required buildings uh, to start getting some nomads in. So hopefully uh, that will open the floodgates and the nomads will come rolling in any moment now. Really hoping for them. <laughs> the minute Adam is still holding out very well. He is 80 years old, uh, still running around. Um, you know, still building buildings, he's actually currently fishing, trying to build up the food stocks um, with his daughter. Um, but you know, if these guys do die, and if this is the end of, uh, of this civilization, of this community, do you know what I have to say? Extremely proud of them and what they've achieved. Just look at this, three of them, and look at all this, these buildings that they've, um, that they've built. So very, very proud, um, but we need those nomads quickly. Adam is literally knocking on death's door, 81 years old now, and uh, he's not going to be uh, around for much longer, it has to be said, and then Gain, again, she's uh, living very precariously now, she is now uh, 50, 60, she's 60, and I think uh, her mum died at about the age 60, 65, something around those ages, um, so not looking good, but can we, can we survive, can the nomads come in? and uh, help us out big time. We will see, we will see. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. See what I did there? Well, Adam has just passed away. Very, very sad day in the community is that one of our founding fathers has sadly passed away at the age of uh, 80 something, um, leaving just his daughter who is 61 um, to be the sole occupant of Petropolis, the only only surviving hope now uh, for this community. But she's still going strong. She is still fishing. Look at her. Look at her go there. She is still fishing uh, as she awaits the nomads. Can they come in time? Well, my friends, it's early winter in the year 13 and unfortunately our last remaining citizen of Petropolis has sadly just passed away and with news of her passing as we check the town hall there is sadly no nomads reported 
this is a very sad day in the history, the very short history of Pedropolis. However, it's been a fun journey. But um, reflecting back, it seems that our failure was in our preparation. And as Benjamin Franklin once said, preparing, no, he didn't say that. He said failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And unfortunately it's that which has seen this once great for a very short period of time, civilization, unfortunately come to a very abrupt halt. But I will leave you with this one final thought, which is, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button to comment below. And if this is your first time watching Pedro Plays, uh, do make sure you hit that subscribe button to uh, keep up to date with videos that we are posting in the future. So let me know guys, did you enjoy Banish? Would you like to see us start this up again? Maybe as a Pedropolis 2.0 and a, the, you know, a, a resurrection of the Adam and Eve story. Uh, thank you for watching guys and take care.